to Out Crazy Life and this is our YouTube channel. If you are new here, we are a nice, normal family. <laughs> okay guys, so today I will be sorting out the pantry again and organizing again. Well, it's been almost a year since I last did it. So it's time and um, you know, life and school and Christmas season and holidays and everything can just mess up a good organizing system like nobody's business. So come along, see how I organize my pantry. If you have better ideas, comment below or maybe you will get some new ideas of organizing your own cupboards or pantry at home. So this is the before. It is crazy in here. Nothing is in its place. It's giving me anxiety. Not really an anxiety. I am not OCD. I am very much an artistic person, which means everything is most of the time all over. But it's time to organize this space and use it more effectively. The things you find in your pantry, Legos. This is absolutely crazy. Um, I wish I could teach my family to really just put everything where it should be and not leave all this work for me every single time. No. Here's a quick tip for you. I want to take off this red vinyl that's been stuck on here for a hundred years. And it really looks terrible. I want the shelves to be clean and white. And what I'm going to do to get it off is I'm gonna take my hair dryer, I'm gonna warm the vinyl, I'm gonna pull it off. It's been stuck on there with glue, obviously. The hair dryer will warm the glue. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can easily just pull off the vinyl and clean it off with a cleaning product that will take away any stickiness and tackiness. smell good in here but I think it took me maybe five minutes to just get everything off really came off very easily and quickly so any sticker ever in your life you want to remove use your hair dryer <laughs> quick and easy and also you can just use baby oil to remove the tacky sticky layer um, and now these I'm gonna take these out with a 
thong, thong. What's that in English? A thong. But anyway, I'm gonna take that out now, and then I can start cleaning. <laughs> After all that cleaning, I now need to sort out and organize this whole kitchen and throw away all the junk and get everything ready and neat into that pantry again. Hopefully a quarter of what's outside here. paper and your glad wrap plastic wrap inside and they're all neat and tight. This is our medicine holder. We obviously don't get sick very often because there's nothing here. Headaches Headaches, a little bit of a cold, tissues for whenever, a little bit of coughing. We don't really get sick. Oh, and obviously a trusted family remedy, fix vapor. This is the result of letting your kids run around, get dirty, play around, get sick from other friends, then your medicine cabinet stays empty because your immune systems are strong.
1.5 million years later. Time for the big reveal. Now you can sit down and rest. <laughs> Ta -da! Making so hot. <laughs> I hope it stays this way. This, yeah. Hey, let's hope so. Is our load shedding saving stuff that helps us and here we've got food we don't really have to cook as much uh, when it's load shedding sauce is always good also something that doesn't need a lot of effort to cook when load shedding pastas and rice are good porridges and sweeties down there Gas bottles for load shedding. All pretty and clean. And that is how I clean and organize my pantry. Let's hope it stays that way before the big move, our big exodus out of this country. <laughs> oh, it's been a day, everything's sorted. And I am glad that you watched. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give me a like. And remember to subscribe for good vibes. And leave your comments below on your tips of organizing and life hacks on cleaning. Bye.